Hello everyone and welcome to this session on AWS SageMaker by IntelliPad. Machine learning is the hottest topic in the current era and the leading cloud provider Amazon Web Services provides a lot of tools to explore machine learning. One of the tools is AWS SageMaker. Amazon SageMaker is a cloud-based machine learning platform that helps users to create, design, train, tune and deploy machine learning models in a production ready hosted environment. In this session, you will get an overview of what is AWS SageMaker. So without further ado let us start with the session but before we begin the session make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us the agenda for today's video will be the following topics firstly i'll be introducing uh, the concept of sagemaker what that service is briefly next i'll move on to the top down view of sagemaker and finally i'll be discussing about the various tools that are available for different roles in the current industry without further ado let us begin the video before we get into the technical concepts of this popular service from amazon let us understand where the name of the service sagemaker comes from generally the term sage is associated with a person who is very old and wise they offer advice and insights to people who come to them for help similarly this service from amazon is used to create and manage a machine learning model which will give you insights into your business problems hence the name sagemaker now let us look at the description of sagemaker which is given by aws themselves amazon sagemaker helps data scientists and developers to prepare build train and deploy machine learning models quickly by bringing together a broad set of capabilities that is purposely built for ml so this is the formal description that is given by amazon web services themselves and here they say uh, all the four uh, stages of uh, ml that is preparing uh, the data and uh, building the model building the algorithm and then training your algorithm or model and then finally deploying it in an environment so all these four stages are uh, available to be carried out in the sagemaker environment itself so that is what aws says when it comes to other aws services like the amazon ec2 you can say that it is a virtual machine on aws platform or if it's s3 you can say that it is an object storage uh, service provided by aws but when it comes to amazon sagemaker the answer is not so simple because it has toolkits it has sdks it has apis containers sample codes test projects documentations that are dedicated to this particular service and many more things included it is an entire ecosystem an entire environment for uh, data scientists and machine learning engineers to spend their careers in this place so this is the vision of amazon sagemaker but you do not need to understand all of this to get started with amazon sagemaker the important thing that you need to understand that it is a machine learning solution offered by aws that is all you need to know when you start with sagemaker Now let us move on to the next topic that is the top down view of sagemaker or how to understand what sagemaker is from a top down approach as aws mentions in their documentation a sagemaker helps you to prepare build train and deploy machine learning projects in its environment the four stages of machine learning are possible in sagemaker itself but these four stages of machine learning are made possible through three layers of components within sagemaker they are the user interface layer machine interface layer and infrastructure layer and within these three layers we have alternatives that are provided by aws for people from different backgrounds for example we have aws console for people who want to administer the resources within sagemaker we have sagemaker notebooks which is essentially a jupyter notebook server with some dependent libraries along with it it contains notebooks that have code which is production quality so the people who use this user interface are uh, developers and data scientists next we have sagemaker studio which is an ide for machine learning and it is essentially an iteration of jupyter notebook called the jupyter labs along with jupyter labs we also get extensions and add-ons which is suitable for machine learning along with it so sagemaker studio is a whole other topic in itself now taking a step back and coming back to the layers now we have the machine interface and infrastructure layers in machine interface layer we have three components as well they are apis that are used to connect endpoints then there are sdks 
uh, Boto 3 in particular if you like using Python programming language. Next we have uh, SageMaker SDK if you want uh, pre-built common business solutions. And last but not the least we have the infrastructure layer where we have components like SageMaker containers that are not empty containers but uh, managed by AWS to integrate into the SageMaker environment as a whole. Next we have containers that have uh, built-in algorithms inside them. Algorithms like the CNN or the Convolution Neural Network which is used to classify images are available here and many other algorithms which have uh, common business use cases are also available here. Lastly, we also get container orchestration here. So you might think that we already have container orchestration tools like the Kubernetes and you might also think that why should I use this or you can why should I not code it on myself. So but the idea here is to have everything in one place that is the SageMaker uh, service so that it is easy to manage things. So this is the different layers in uh, SageMaker and all of the different components in these three different layers. Now let us move on to the next topic. There is the various tools available for different roles in business. There are a lot of people from different backgrounds using SageMaker now, but the most common roles that use SageMaker are data scientists, business analysts and MLOps engineers. There are different tools that are used by each one of these roles. Let us see what they are. For data scientists, Step 1 is to start out with SageMaker Studio, then SageMaker Jumpstart and finally follow content on SageMaker Fridays. For business analysts, the only tool that is needed is SageMaker Canvas. For MLOps engineers, the first step is to start with SageMaker Studio, then get into SageMaker MLOps and finally deep dive into automating MLOps. Thank you for watching till the end guys. Have a nice day. Just a quick info guys, if you want to make a career in cloud and devops, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and devops by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee. And it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to upskill and land your dream job.